we're going to go ahead and get started. And if you guys can just, you know, bear with us, this is the first time we've had over 100 people that we have <laughs> sent this invitation to. Um, so we're we're still learning as well. But I wanted to go ahead and um, go over this PowerPoint presentation, and we will send this out um, to all of you as well. What we wanted to do was just a quick overview of the MLE, and I apologize that you all didn't get that attachment um, previously in regards to the PowerPoint slides. Um, but it's it, it's very simple, and you all are very important to us, and you have certainly contributed uh, to this MLE certification program. And so we we wanted you know everyone to just have an update on where we're at in regards to the MLE. Um, our goal is to roll this out in April at the Reliable Plant Conference. And I'm happy to say that we have so far um, over 20 individuals that will be taking this exam. So we're excited about that. Good. Yeah. And so it's really an engineering level certification. <clears throat> it targets reliability and asset management um, because, as most of you know, we're also working on the ICML 55. Um, <clears throat> So this has a huge correlation with that, and it's for professionals with a strong emphasis in lubrication and lubricant analysis. Um, it does certify an individual's knowledge and understanding of the abilities uh, to provide the general engineering support uh, to a user lubrication program at a typical industrial plant. And we've, we've had a lot of people asking us different questions, and that's why it was important for us to have this call with you all, because you all have, may have the same questions, and so we certainly wanted to, to address those as well today. Um, and, and just in regards to the scope of the MLE certification, um, it emphasizes a person's understanding of lubricant selection, lubrication and sampling, hardware selection, and implementation, and then overall lubrication program design, along with machinery design and inspection program design. And it's there's a lot of procedure development, and as as some of you all have certainly helped Hosanya um, with these questions, uh, hopefully some of this will relate to what you all have sent Hosanya. She has implemented in regards to this particular exam. Um, it also optimizes lubricant PMs, and then analysis and troubleshooting, of course, and then lubrication program metrics. Um, and then there are some team management aspects and communications uh, pieces in this as well, and then, you know, training and skills remediation, of course. Excuse me, Leslie, are you, yes. are you showing the presentation right now? Well, we are working on that. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, I didn't want to make sure I was missing something. Yeah, no. Uh, for some reason, it it showed up on the attachment, but it's not. Uh, unfortunately, it's not showing up here. So I do apologize. Um, so a lot of you all have asked what the requirements are, and there are some training companies um, that are looking at the, the body of knowledge of this MLE, and so some of them are making study guides currently in regards to that. So that's why I, I certainly want to get these PowerPoints to you all so that you all can, can see that because we do have the, the body of knowledge that, you know, if there, if there are some of you that want to have those study guides, you can certainly um, make those in regards to the body of knowledge that we have. And the, the MLE requirement, and we'll also have this in a brochure at the Reliable Plant Conference. Um, we'll have the MLE on one side, and then we'll have the ICML 55 information on the other side of the brochure so that you all can have that as well. But the MLE requirements are five plus years post secondary education or on the job training in one or more of these. Yeah, can you, can you all put your mute on, please? Because we're, we're getting a lot of static from someone. <laughs> Thank you. 
So five years post-secondary education or on-the-job training in one or more of these fields, which is engineering, mechanical maintenance, maintenance trades, communication, oil analysis, condition monitoring. So the, the, one part of the requirement. There are no certifications or engineering degrees um, are prerequisites to this particular um, exam. So I wanted to let you all know that as well. And then no formal training courses are required. We do ask when we've had some calls, we do ask that they have, you know, have either passed the, the MLA, MLT, because if they have passed that and have the understanding, they will certainly, uh, you know, do, do better uh, with this particular exam, but yeah, there's no formal training courses uh, that are required at this time. Um, the actual exam uh, is four hours. It's 150 multiple choice questions. It is a closed book exam. And of course, the, the same as the other exam, it's, it's the 70% to pass this particular exam. And then we also will work with the individual because being a four-hour exam, sometimes we know that individuals need to take breaks. Um, so we will work with those particular individuals in regards to that, and we'll work with the proctor as well. But the exam is 150 multiple choice questions, and it is four hours. Okay, and then there's a lot of information in regards to the body of knowledge matrix, and so I, instead of going over each of those, I will certainly uh, send you all the PowerPoint as soon as we get off this call. And once again, I do apologize. It, it was on the attachment, but unfortunately it's, it's not popping up now, so I, I do apologize. Um, but we do have the body of knowledge, and it explains each of these particular areas of the matrix. Um, so those of you who would like to have study guides for this particular exam, um, you could certainly, you know, make those with this body of knowledge that's available. And we certainly appreciate all of you who have assisted with this, because I know that most of you have helped us with the MLE, but you're also helping us with the ICML 55, and we can't thank you enough uh, for helping us with that for sure. Um, and then it's a, one of the questions that we got was, how will the test be run and proctored? We, it's the same as any of the other exams that we offer. We will find the, the proctor and then um, coach and, and let them know what they need to be doing, and then we'll have the four-hour exam. And then one of the guys <clears throat> that called yesterday said, how familiar should a candidate be with ICML 55? Only general topical knowledge, or should they be able to demonstrate that they can apply the topics? And at this point, it's once you see the body of knowledge, you'll have more of an, an idea of what this exam is all about. And it's it's just a step above um, the other certifications that we offer. So once again, those individuals who have passed the MLA or MLT. Uh, will we'll certainly, you know, be familiar with this particular exam. But we have appreciated some of the trainers already uh, looking into a study guide that will um, help those individuals who are going for this MLE. Do any of you have any questions? And I apologize as well, um, Hosanya was on vacation today, or she would be uh, here on the call as well. So Leslie McCullough here, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, great. Hey, just a, just a quick one, just making sure I'm on the same plate. The first time that MLE will be offered up will be during a reliable plant in April in Cleveland, right? Yes. Okay, yes, cool. we, we will be rolling that yeah. out, and actually, isn't it, Paul, on the exam instance already that we're offering that at Reliable Plant? It's out there. Yeah. yeah, so it's already on our website as well um, that we are oh. offering that uh, exam at Reliable Plant. Okay, so that's the first Leslie. time you've registered. You got it. Leslie. Yes. Yeah. Mike Johnson here. Uh, will a calculator be required for the exam? No. 
Thank you. Yeah. And also, one of the things that we are um, offering as well is those of you who are interested in taking this exam at Reliable Plant, um, we certainly encourage it because it's you know going to be an ongoing process, a work in progress, if, if you will. And so those of you who are interested in taking that particular exam, we wouldn't charge you for the exam. Um, and then if, if you you know, wanted us to score it for you. But the main reason for this also for you all is to know that we would really like comments with, with these questions uh, because after the Reliable Plant Conference, Hosanya is going to get all of those other comments from you all and and implement those. So it, it, we certainly would appreciate anyone who would be willing to volunteer if you're at Reliable Plant um, at the conference, we would certainly appreciate you all uh, assisting us in regards to that exam. We appreciate all comments. <laughs> uh, Leslie, how far out does that extend as far as uh, the the offer to take the exam, as far as how many individuals are you looking for? Well, we're just going to roll it. We're rolling it out for the first time at Reliable Plant. So what Hosanya has done, and she's already contacted most of you, um, just to see if you would be willing to volunteer to take this particular um, exam, and just you know add add some feedback or comments if there's some questions that um, you all um, see that you know need to be fixed. All right. Do you know what date uh, at Reliable Plant you guys are doing that? So Wednesday, we have two. We have two exams. One's on Monday. One's on Wednesday. And we're just doing the MLE on Wednesday, and that is on our website. Okay, thank you. The, yeah, the seventeenth. Any other questions? Hey, Leslie, this is Jim Fitch. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Hey, good job, by the way. Sorry about the PowerPoint, uh, but if you send it out to everybody, uh, that should be very adequate. We're all anxious to see it. Yes. Uh, I, I would like to just say that uh, some of the board members, I think maybe three or four, uh, have uh, taken the uh, this exam uh, and have offered a lot of comments and, and suggestions. And those those comments and suggestions uh, have, uh, by Hosanya, been already kind of implemented in the next draft. Uh, but it is still viewed, as Leslie has said, as a work in progress. Uh, and because uh, all of you that have volunteered are subject matter experts, uh, your, your feedback and suggestion and comment are valuable to the ICML and the overall quality of the exam, which of course we would like it to be at a very high level. Uh, so don't, you know, if you're taking the exam at Reliable Plan or scheduled to take it sometime thereafter, uh, uh, don't be bashful or uh, about feedback. You know, be constructive, be as helpful as you can. We want to get it right, and we need your help. So thank you very much. Okay, thanks, Jim. And then also um, we had, had Gerardo call and speak with Hosanya because they're wanting to offer the MLE exam. And so for our international folks, um, you know, we just would ask that you be patient with us because we are going to have to, you know, after Reliable Plant and after Hosanya gets more comments and, and you know, tweaks the exam and, and fixes that and makes it better, uh, we will have to translate this in all of our 12-plus languages. So we, we would just ask that you be patient with us as well. Okay, well, that's all we have for today, and I certainly, once again, appreciate you all joining us. Um, we appreciate all of your help, for sure, and we will get this PowerPoint sent out right now as soon as we get off of, of the call. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye.